Hi, Jesse Canone from LoseTheBackPain.com with a quick video review of the book Treat Your Back Without Surgery by Dr. Stephen uh, Hochschuler, I believe it is. I apologize if I hacked your name, sir. Um, overall, it's a good book. Um, I certainly wouldn't give it five stars because it's missing several key elements. Uh, and the most important one is uh, muscle imbalances. The book gives you lots of uh, general exercises to perform, exercises and stretches. So regardless of who pr uh, purchases and reads this book, the recommendations are the same. And that's one of the biggest problems with most, uh, most books about back pain is it's all generic, it's all one size fits all. If you really want to get the best results and get rid of your pain and keep it away, you've got to make your program specific to you and your situation. So when it comes to exercises and stretches, you've got to uh, identify the specific areas where you're strong, tight, overdeveloped, and then the other areas where you're weak and underdeveloped. And you've got to do the right combination then of exercises and stretches based on those findings. Again, those are your muscle imbalances. So uh, you can learn more about muscle imbalances by visiting my website, losethebackpain.com, or reading my book, uh, The Seven Day Back Pain Cure. But like I said, all, over, overall, it's a, it's a good book, some good information, um, some things I disagree with. Uh, but most, most importantly, it's missing several key elements. Again, I mentioned muscle imbalances. Uh, it also doesn't do uh, very much uh, or a very thorough job on the importance of your diet, what you eat, how much you eat, the types of foods you eat, and so on. Nutritional Im uh, imbalances are a very big factor, uh, as is dehydration, and then also the mental, emotional piece to back pain and other health ailments. So uh, again, visit my website, losethebackpain.com, for more free videos like this one.